In today's video, I'm going to Walmart to attempt to pull the Dark Magician from Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge because we didn't pull it in five hours. What's up guys, we're back with another Walmart video. Recently I searched for the Chaos Mystery Box. You guys saw that and the Walmart I went to was absolutely loaded. All I bought was the Chaos Mystery Box last time. This time I'm getting a little bit more interested in going to find more stuff. So I'm gonna go back to that Walmart. I'm actually already there, spoiler alert. And I'm gonna see if they actually have anything we can pick up still. I'm guessing it's gonna be empty at this point, but maybe they still have some awesome stuff. Walmart. Ooh, they still do have stuff. Lots of Pokemon. Ooh, now that's interesting. Paths of Legend, hey, we gotta try this again. Pull the Gaia, or the uh, Dark Magician. He looks like a Gaia though. They literally have not sold a Chaos box since I was here last time. You guys remember this? There was six here, now there's four. I guess we're buying more of these. We have Mystery Cubes as well, but they're so bad. Um, there's Pokemon ones as well. Pokemon mystery boxes, anything vintage, doesn't seem like it. Okay, we gotta grab these, and then definitely some of these. These are 478 for some reason. We are getting destroyed right now. That is rough. No 333 this time. Holy crap, why are those blisters so expensive? I think they're like 450 retail, so they're only a little bit higher, but they've recently been like 333 for blisters, but I guess because they're the brand new ones, they're almost five bucks, so five bucks per blister. Ouch, that hurt. First off, I did find two chaos boxes. So I think we're gonna open one, keep one sealed for future videos because I love having extra chaos boxes and mystery boxes for other videos. So we'll probably open this one a little bit more beat up. Keep this one sealed for now. Then I was able to pick up 10 of the Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. They had more, but as you saw, they were $4.78. So yeah, we're gonna stick with 10 on this because that's almost $50 for 10 packs. And then finally, I picked up a couple Silver Tempest Elite Trainer boxes. Yes, this is Pokemon. I know, it's crazy. We opened over 300 packs of this on Twitch and I did not get the Lugia and Lugia is my favorite Pokemon. So I was like, I just really kind of want to open more and potentially get it because we got really unlucky. We pulled like the base Lugia and that was it. But before we get into the opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Man Eater Bug. We have Graceful Charity First Edition from Stardust Pegasus and a Premature Burial. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card that we pull in this video and let's get into it. And since we're on a mini side quest for the Lugia, you know, we've got the main quest going for the Dark Magician from Battles of Legend Monsters events the side quest going for the lugia out of silver tempest i want to show you guys one of my favorite cards that i own not just pokemon but in general the first appearance lugia you've probably seen this on the channel before not great condition but these are tops cards and they stick together if you open them up they're really hard to get in good grades so i got this in 2019 in a trade so it is a very very cool card i really like it. it's one of my favorites so i figured it'd be cool if we could get the other lugia pair right next to it that'd be pretty nice so a little side quest just wanted to show you guys that card because it is like basically a ghost rare like in like in Yu-Gi-Oh. they never had this in pokemon it's just a tops thing that they did and this is by far the best card in the set the other ones are like really weird like blossom and stuff okay let's go ahead and start into the battles of legend monsters revenge and i also want to mention uh another reason i wanted to buy that pokemon pack is i bought some old Pokemon packs that we're going to be opening in a video pretty soon here. Like old, old, like original OG. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm kind of anticipating it by uh, getting a little Silver Tempest. So let's see if we can uh, pull something crazy today in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. We have Herald of the Pure, Pure Light, not Purple, Pure Light. We should probably just alternate with the Silver Tempest and then we'll do the Chaos Box in the middle. I don't know when we're, it's kind of random what we're doing today. I think there's eight or 10 packs in here. I don't remember how this thing works. I think it's eight in the, in the standard sets, but you know, I've opened a lot of these, I still don't know. All right, so there is a code card if you guys are interested in that. I think it's eight, yeah, it is eight. Okay, so we'll alternate those, we'll throw these in, see if we can pull. There's multiple versions of this Lugia. I just want any of the higher end ones. We haven't had luck getting those. I don't know, I think we just spoiled if it's good or not. I think you gotta do a little bit different there. I don't know how this works. We're gonna do four, we'll see what if, what happens. Yeah, okay, we got the water. Gold bat. let's see. Will we pull the Dark Magician or the Lugia first? That is the question, let me know in the comments. Which will happen? That is a Ruxin special. It happens on every card game, Phoebus. That's a super Ruxin special, actually. All right, Verizion. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Nothing crazy there. Let's go to Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. Let's see if we can get a good pull. These are... I don't like these. Come on. <laughs> I don't like these blisters. We're going Pokemon style. All right. Monsters Revenge. They also don't look as cool. I mean, they... I'm not gonna lie. They, these don't look bad. They look pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna take another look at these on the next one so you guys can see. Sakatama, man. Switching between these, they're so much different. 
Wow. All right, Junk Archer, Secret Rare, nothing crazy out of that. At this point, it's been a while since this set's released, like a couple of days, so I know how, you know, that's not a good card in terms of value. Okay, let's try another one of these. Let's see if today's our day. It's probably not, but you know what? You just gotta believe. It doesn't matter what you're opening, you gotta believe. There we go. Let's see if we can pull something. This is sticky, so maybe that's a good sign. It's sticking. All right, we got the dark. We got Matang. For so low punny. Lil Punny just died in our Radical Red Nuzlocke on Twitch. Very sad. Ball Toy, we have Sunkern. That's a Ruxin special, of course. We got an Anorith, and did we get something? No, we got a Kobalion. Dude, this guy's knees. I'm serious. This guy's knees has a... Why do they bend like a, a human knee instead of like a dog knee? It's weird. Tell me that's not weird. In the comments, explain why his knees are like that. Knees are weird. This is our new uh, our new phrase for the video is knees are weird. Put it in the comments. All right, Battles of the Legend, Monsters Revenge. Okay, not gonna lie, this kind of kind of hits the uh, full art right there. Basically, looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, they did a, they did a decent job. Okay, let's see what else we can get. We're not doing any verses today. We are just trying to pull a couple of cards that we have never pulled before. We have Rose Shaman, Sage, and the Rocket Coder. That's actually a decent card. Rocket Coder's not bad. All right, so our best pull so far, I would say. Silver Tempest, the Tempest of Silver. I know this is not like a new card or anything, but it is uh, It is still a card that I won. You know, I don't really care if it's new or not. I'm just kind of interested in pulling it. We have the Leaf, very nice, or Grass, I should say. We have Breaks and Sigilith. We have Litten. Sigilith in uh, Black, uh, Pokemon Black is one of the craziest Pokemon ever. Rotom, when I did my uh, Soul Link with Coder, it destroyed us. We have Kevin Durant and uh, Ranunculus. That is a Hollow card, but Hollows in Pokemon at this point, don't mean that much. Okay, let's do one more of these, then we're gonna crack into the Chaos Box for a little, uh, you know, little switch up, little fun. Okay, we have Monster's Revenge. What can we pull? We have one, two. Here we go. We have Baby Spider. We have Puppet Pawn. We have Math Max Sigma, Sage Wisdom, and the Armed Neos. Actually, this is a really short printed card. We pulled 17 of these out of six cases of cards. So this is actually a really hard pull. I know it's worth like a dollar, so it doesn't really seem like that, but it is still a really hard card to pull. So we'll take that. All right, Chaos Box time. Here we go. We got five booster packs and one gaming sleeve pack. So gaming sleeve pack, here we come. Let's go. What will we get? What is our gaming sleeve pack? Is it Miracle Fusion Sleeve? it is okay they all seem to be miracle vision which is really cool i mean we'll take them adds a little bit of value there it's not bad let's see what else we got we got a genesis impact first ads this is an older bag I and mean, it's like a year and a half old maybe two uh not bad is it two i'm just gonna do this it looks like that might be a foil on the back it's guaranteed foils in this so it doesn't really spoil anything match this we have invoked we have a live twin. Yeah, it definitely looks different. Yeah, Drytron Fafnir doesn't mean anything. Just a super rare. Okay, okay. Nothing crazy there. Next up, we got Flames of Destruction. Here we go. Can we pull something crazy? One, two, three, four. I, I think it probably is three. Oh, okay. D okay, maybe. Link Streamer. Okay, we got, we got to be streaming. We got Mandrake. We got Defrag Dragon. Call by the Grave. Can we get that Ghost Bell or the Infinite Permanent Seeker Rare? We have Mamamaki. Red Reboot. Crazy card. I mean... I think it's banned at this point so hey not a bad card but i think it's worth about 10 cents we're getting a lot of great cards but none of them really have a ton of value which is you know kind of the normal thing for Yu-Gi-Oh. okay maximum crisis let's go ash blossom at this point unlimited ash blossom probably isn't worth that much but it's not about that it's about pulling fire i think it would be right here so let's do that we have uh the boa boa that's not how you say that is it <laughs> diddy ghost we have gift exchange speedroid we have subterra final battle and a subterra fiendus okay i somehow did that not right ghost beef <gasps> the ghost beef has been pulled all right a couple more packs in this chaos box we have a hidden summoners this is a five card pack all foils should be uh could be the secret at the front so we're gonna do that sacred phoenix Fusion Recycling Plant, we have Prank Kids Drop Seas. The Nephthys, so it wasn't out the front. The Sacred Preserver, that is a Link 2. The Nephthys archetype, very interesting. I don't think anybody's ever used that. But hey, you never know. Maybe somebody uses it. What's the last pack here? Let's see, I can't grab it. We have a, ooh, Dawn of Majesty. If there was a Starlight Stardust in here. And imagine, I did, forgot to mention, I said this in the vlog, I don't know if it made it in, but somehow that Walmart had not been touched. And I haven't been there in like two weeks. I bought the first two Chaos Boxes. Nobody has bought anything since. I was like, how has no one been to this Walmart in two weeks? It's insane. I know a lot of you guys are probably very angry right now because you're like, everyone buys everything at my Walmart or we don't sell anything anymore or whatever. We got Slower Swallow again. And okay, no, no Stardust. I had a hope, but didn't happen. 
So yeah, seeing that was insane. I know, uh, I wish every Walmart was like that. You show up and there was stock every single time. So yeah, kind of crazy. Uh, if I go back again next time and no one's touch it again, I might do like a Walmart buyout because if no one else is gonna want it, then why not? I'll just buy everything. Yeah, there was a lot there. So if I did buy it, it'd probably get pretty expensive. So I don't know if I would, I don't know if I'd do that or not, but maybe I'll consider it if there's a lot of stuff left. All right, Battles of Legend. I've never wanted to do that because ever since I've, you know, had a YouTube channel, it's been COVID or after. And since then there's been like really hard to find stock. So I don't want to like take everybody's stock. You know what I mean? We got a Karibo. That's cool. We got Dijin and a Photon Jumper Secret Rate. All right, let's try another Silver Tempest. Let's see if we can get that Lugia. Will we finally get something? Guess what? We have gotten nothing. Nothing really has changed with our Yu-Gi-Oh! opening versus Pokemon. Phoebus, Noibat, we're just still pulling nothing. We got Snorunt, Standile. Did I? Wait. Oh, that wasn't a reverse. Okay. These darts always look like reverses. We have Finnegan. We have Drotini and uh, Fioni. All right. All right. Not too great. Uh, I, I opened uh, a lot of Crown Zenith for Pokemon. I just ripped that somehow. Uh, and that set had a ton of hits. Now we're opening a regular set and there's just not a lot in there. You don't hit as many cards. One, two, three. No, not three. One, two. Okay, there's a Kobe. We have XEs, we RIP Kobe. We have the uh, Era Bonus and a Dark Hole Secret Rare. Destroy all monsters on the field. Okay, a few packs left in this opening. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little mix up. You know, today I felt like mixing it up a little bit, opening a couple Pokemon packs because sometimes you just gotta open a little Pokemon, maybe a little magic, you know. You guys seem to like that one ring video. Uh, I wish I could afford more. Uh, but yeah, it's too expensive, <laughs> 500 bucks. But that one ring video seems like you guys mostly liked it. A few, you know, there was a couple more dislikes than usual, which is not you know unexpected when it comes to a different TCG. I expect a little bit more on this video. Levy camo and a Victini. All right, okay, just a non-hollow. But overall, it seemed like the reception was pretty pretty cool. I thought it would be a set that you guys would enjoy watching because you know. $2 million card, you know, all that insane hype. I mean, it's just fun times. So maybe we'll do more like that in the future. If some other crazy stuff happens, I'm sure Magic will do something else nutty in the future and we'll uh, not be sponsored and we'll open it up. <laughs> Thunder, we have the Sprite Smashers and oh, come on. Give us a 25th anniversary. Ogre Dance is a good card, though. All right, we've got three packs left each. It's been fun. It's been enjoyable. I've had a good time. I've got many more videos coming your way that hopefully you guys will enjoy the i'm excited for the old pokemon video which i'll probably throw in some Yu Gi Oh packs for you know because for it's a Yu Gi Oh channel even though i do like pokemon we'll definitely throw in some Yu Gi Oh packs for it but the if you like any old school if you're you know maybe back in the day you liked pokemon i think you'll probably like that video too we have dupider we have sandy gas reverse and come on this elite trainer box sucks i think we have one hollow just like a regular hollow not even like a good like a you know you know what are they called ex no the ex is old gx i don't know this is the old one now we're on a what is it paldea or whatever the gen 9 so you know i don't even know i've lost count or lost track at this point not that i ever knew bisho ball drake we got that crazy miscut in the live stream that was cool we got number 65 we have sprite smashers and the golden rule shout out to the bible all right two packs of each here we go give us some luck uh we have a metal energy we have an unidentified fossil araquanid stone journer sandy ghast Relicant, that's an emerald card. We have Halucha, Rufflet, that's a pretty good Pokemon. We have Vulpix, Curlia, and Kling Clang. We got a bunch of gears going in. All right, Dark Magician, now's your time. I called you the Gaia in the vlog part. I always think of him as a Gaia because he, he's riding Curse of Dragon like a Gaia. Okay, Dark Magician guy. Look at him. He's a Gaia, basically, except Dark Magician, okay? So cut me some slack. I don't know if that made it in or not, but I did say Gaia, and then I was like, wait, what? Dark Magician, I mean. Puppet Rock, we have uh, Numbers Last Hope. Rose Shaman, we have the Ghost Wyvern. Oh, and a Super Poly. That's not a bad card. That's pretty solid. One pack of left of each in this opening. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Because, uh, yeah, we open packs. That's what we do. There will, there will always be more pack openings. That's just what we keep doing. Water energy. Come on, we got Glalie. Last chance. Candice. B. We got the Dreepy. The Vulpix. I can't pull these cards. Amolga. Chimeco. Baneri. We got Solosis. And a Moon Guess. All right, we're never opening Pokemon again. Just kidding, but that was rough. That was really rough. I got two of those elite trainer boxes. So I'm hoping that the other one is not a dud. We'll have to find out. Okay, last pack magic here. Will it have 
the legendary dark magician 20 if it did i would go crazy we have the black wing we have the performer pal odd eyes the uh punk rising and assault synchron all right pretty good secret rare actually one of the best secret rares in the set we will take that good way to end it we didn't get any crazy pulls today but there will be more crazy pulls in the future shout out to tom flow show daxer jt cho puffins of doom ernesto dienda Micycle, america doister supreme sage 21 and under tie show ian musa junior barding and mimic echo thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.